Hello students, welcome back to our channel. Students, in this video, we are going to study the working of Zener diode as a voltage regulator. But to understand that working, we first have to study what is a Zener diode. Let's first revise what is a Zener diode. A Zener diode is simply a PN junction which operates in reverse biased mode. So let's first draw the graph of a PN junction which operates in reverse biased mode. And the graph of PN junction if it operates in reverse biased mode, the voltage and current graph is drawn in the third quadrant because the current is also the reverse current and voltage is also the reverse voltage. So, this is the graph. Right? This is the voltage. This is the voltage, reverse voltage and this is the reverse current. Without going into the details, because this video is particular, particularly to see the working of Zener diode as a voltage regulator. So, we are not going into the details that why the shape of this graph is like this. For that, you have to study the characteristics of a PN junction which operates in reverse biased mode. But we can clearly see that for small voltages, the current increases very slowly. But once the voltage reaches a certain value, which is called the breakdown voltage, this is, this is what? This is the breakdown voltage. then the current increases rapidly and without change in without any change in the voltage right we, ca we can see that this graph is not beyond this particular value uh, let's for example let's say this value is uh, minus 3 volt or or uh, for simplicity let's take this value as 3 volt so when <coughs> the voltage across the pn junction in reverse biased mode is 3 volt which is its breakdown voltage then there will be a huge increase in current without any change in voltage and beyond 3 volt if you try to change the voltage the resistance of the zener diode will change and the current will change and there will not be any change in the voltage since we know the relation between current voltage and resistance and that is V equal to IR. So, beyond this value, if you try to change the value V, it will not change, it will remain 3 volt in our example or uh, this voltage is represented by Vz, which is the Zener breakdown voltage, right? In this particular example, we have taken it as 3 volt, but otherwise it can have any value. But if you try to increase the voltage in reverse biased mode beyond that particular uh, breakdown voltage, then the value of R for that particular junction, PN junction will change and due to that the value of I will change but the product I into R that is V will remain Vz, right? So, we can use this property of PN junction, <coughs> we can use this property of PN junction to make it work as a voltage regulator. How? Let's see. I'll just explain what is all this. Let me first draw the circuit. Mm 
So here how uh, we can use the Zener diode as a voltage regulator. So Zener diode is simply a PN junction which operates in a reverse biased mode. So how we can use it as a voltage regulator across an output resistance. Suppose this is a resistance RL. This could be a, a small bulb that is LED or any other device whose resistance is RL. Uh, RL. And we have connected, if, if it is required to be connected to a fluctuating DC input, but we need a constant output across that particular thing. <clears throat> Suppose this is a small LED bulb, right? And the DC input to which we are connecting this LED bulb is a fluctuating input, but we need a constant output of, let us say, 3 volt. Let us say we need a constant output 3 volt here, but this fluctuating uh, input is fluctuating uh, from 1 volt to uh, let us say 8 volt, right? This is fluctuating from 1 volt to 8 volt. Now, if we connect it directly, what happens? Because the maximum output across this could be 3 volt, but since it is fluctuating from 1 volt to 8 volt, suppose it is 5 volt. So this at this 5 volt output, this LED bulb will burn out, right? So it will damage. So what, what is the requirement? Requirement is that if, if it is connected to a fluctuating DC input, then still we need to have a fixed, a constant output of 3 volt across this LED bulb, right? So what we will do, we will connect a PN junction that is a Zener diode in reverse biased mode across uh, across this one in parallel, right? We can clearly see that this is it is a parallel connection, right? This is also connected across uh, the point suppose A and B and since there is no component from this point to this point, so this point has same voltage and this point has same voltage. So these two are connected in parallel and this is our output, right? Because we are getting the output across this uh, LED bulb or any other thing. So uh, this is connected in parallel to the Zener diode. This is the symbol for the Zener diode, right? We, we are not discussing the working and uh, the mechanism behind the working of Zener diode because that is not the topic of discussion for this particular video. We will focus only on the working of Zener diode as voltage regulator and if you have any confusion regarding the working of Zener diode, you should watch the other videos which are for the working of Zener diode, right? In this video, we are focusing only on the working of Zener diode as voltage regulator, how we can use the Zener diode in uh, fixing the voltage across an output. So, so if, if it is 5 volt, obviously this will damage. So we have connected this in parallel with the Zener diode and there is a resistance RS. There is, a, there is a resistance RS in series with the Zener diode and all this combination is connected to this fluctuating DC input. Right? Clear? Okay. Now, uh, let's see what happens. Suppose, uh, the breakdown voltage of this Zener diode is also 3 volt. We, we can have uh, Zener diodes of different breakdown voltages. We different uh, Zener diodes of different breakdown voltages are very easy to prepare and they are available in market. We just have to change the doping concentration in P and N region of the PN junction. So uh, we can make Zener diodes of different breakdown voltages and suppose this is the Zener diode having the breakdown voltage as 3 volt which is 
which is the output that is required across this LED. So, suppose now, now, now let's divide this working into two parts. If this input is less than 3 volt, let's say it is 2 volt. So, if the input is less than 2 volt, we can clearly see that if the voltage is less than the breakdown voltage, current is very small. So, very small current will pass through this zener diode and maximum current will pass through this one. So, it will glow with without any problem because the voltage will be less than uh, less than its less than 3 volts. So, that is not going to damage this LED, right? So, it will it will it will work and it will not get damaged and uh, the the other <coughs> other condition would be when the voltage is more than 3 volt let's say the voltage is 5 volt now if the voltage is 5 volt which is beyond the breakdown voltage of the zener diode so voltage across the zener diode is not going to change if the if this voltage is 5 volt then the voltage across this will constantly remain 3 volt and since it is connected the output is connected in parallel with the zener diode so the output voltage will also be 3 volt what about the other 2 volt since this is 5 volt so what about the other 2 volt that's why we have a resistance here the other 2 volt will be across the across this resistance for example if if it becomes 8 volt then again the voltage across zener diode will remain 3 volt and the other 5 volt will be dropped across this resistor. So, we can see that once the breakdown value is reached, the voltage across the zener diode is not going to change because that is the working of zener diode and we are using that to make voltage constant across an output. So, once the voltage across the zener diode is increased beyond 3 volt, once the, once the fluctuating voltage is increased beyond 3 volt, the voltage across the zener diode is not going to increase beyond 3 volt. The extra voltage will be dropped across this resistance which is, which is connected with the parallel, with the series across the zener diode and we will get a constant output of 3 volt across the output LED or any other device that we have connected here, right? So, that is the working of zener diode as a voltage regulator. I hope everything is clear to you and this is a very important topic. Right now it is not a part of class 12th CBSC syllabus but there are other boards in which you have to study this topic. So, this is a very important topic. If it is there in your syllabus, it is very important. So, prepare it very carefully. You have to draw this diagram. You have to uh, write the construction. You have to write the working, everything. I will meet you in the next lecture. Till then, all the very good.